you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Again, we'll see the pistol here. On second down, Elliott. Man, he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. time and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. That was a terrific job by the defense stopping them on third and short but sometimes you get some visual cues from the offense because when they're going in short yard situations you might see the offensive line come in tighter together a little more shoulder to shoulder trying to wedge a hole in the middle. They didn't get it done on that play. Now left side here to Brian and he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Another pistol look here. So the offense has it, six-yard line, first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They come out here in the eye. In motion left, the tight end. Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. Here's Elliott, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Prescott on third and goal. That's caught at the two. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. We're back now in KC. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going let's for go, it on fourth and goal. They'll need to. And now with the play clock winding down, Jason Garrett opts to take a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Bailey able to knock it through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field.
Macklin, the man in motion right. And to give this time to the tailback. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. To throw on second down to Smith. He's got time. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Still nine yards to go on third down. Throwing on third down, Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Smith turns and gives to West. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give them a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. In motion right, Macklin. Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Under, under, four, eight, move, 45, move, 45. 52 the They'll bring a receiver in motion right. And on the ground they go with a running back. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Smith on third down. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. Here we go on fourth. Smith. And this is caught. He hits Macklin. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the A. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal in the red zone this time. Macklin, the man in motion right. And he'll give it here to his running back. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And this seemingly endless drive continues. We got three, we got three, we got three. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together.
They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Kelsey out in the slot right. Smith. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. Six yards on the pickup, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. And now here's a sneak fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And out now come the Cowboys. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that. But they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage. And either he's got a man complete. The 30, 10, 5. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. Well, any thoughts about overtime have ended at this juncture. That 